Alright, today's video, ladies and gentlemen, you must have just stumbled upon this in your searches or on the recommended, wherever you found it. I'm just going to suggest to you guys a couple pointers on how to improve your internet speeds, especially if you're a Virgin Media customer, most of the time when you're actually talking to Virgin Media. The only thing they say to you, check the, check the cave link, turn it on and off, reset it, etc, etc. But in the end, it works for short term, but then in the long term, it causes problems X, Y, and Z. It's causing some of you to leave, saying fuck Virgin Media, fuck any other internet service provider that you have. So, one of the important things I'd point out is, first, you need to find out what's your internet, internet provider's average speeds. So, you've got some sort of milestone to work with. Two, I'm going to give a link in the description below of a software called Neurosoft Wi-Fi Info Viewer. It's just a software that will help you analyze properly which channels you want to choose. Because one thing with Wi-Fi channels, which I'm going to explain later, is you want to pick the one with the least least congestion. It's kind of like in traffic. You want to go for the fastest lane where there's less cars queued up. You just want to be getting on, hitting the road, that sort of thing. So, you know, soft Wi-Fi info viewer. Again, I'll put this in the description below. It's normally the first search. It's just this little software here, but I already got it downloaded. So let me just show it from my PC itself. So for most of you here, you love gaming, you love watching videos, streaming Netflix, etc, etc. I'm the same. So literally I'm just going to show you now. So literally what you're going to see here is a whole bunch of Wi-Fi's. You want to look for your Wi-Fi, which is normally highlighted in green, showing that you're connected to that specific device. Next up, you're going to right click, click next display mode. One more thing before I go into this section. 5.2 is the 5 gigahertz network and 2.4 is the 2 gigahertz network. Most of you under 5 gigahertz network, so I'm not really going to go into detail about 2.4. So these are just a whole bunch of details. I'm not a network expert, so I can't really explain it, but literally the important thing you want to look for is average signal. So as long as you're getting 100, you're absolutely fine. This just tells you interference, the quality of the signal, so whether it's strong or weak, especially if you're next if you're close to your router or you're very far from your router. So as I said before, next display mode. Because I'm already connected to channel 44, you can see the quality of the signal is fairly good. I could go for channel 48, but I've tried it myself. It's a bit of experimenting and you need to see what works for you. Me, I have 10 plus devices in my household, so I literally went for channel 44, before it was channel 36, but too many too many of my neighbours are literally on channel 36, so channel 44 is the only channel that is free for me to use. Now I'm going to return back to my browser. You want to go to your Virgin Media, you want to go to, no, okay, shit. You want to be going to your Virgin Media admins part, so 192.168.0.1. If you're a first time customer, and you're using these admin features, you'll probably have to look up the passcode, which is underneath your router. If you flip it upside down, it'll give you an eight digit password, then you can set your own customized password, but I'm gonna censor this part because this is sensitive, literally. Oops. Okay, once you've actually logged into your Think Routers Management site, you want to go straight to Advanced Settings. Well, for Virgin Media customers, these instructions are specific for you. Go to Advanced Settings, Wireless, Wireless Signal. I'm going to explain some things before I actually do make the changes. So, Channel 44 might not work for you, but it does work for me. For you, it might be Channel 40, Channel 48. It varies. So I'm going to go down here, you don't really have to worry too much about channel, the 2.4 gigahertz frequency, because we're focused on 5, point, the 5 gigahertz frequency, so by default, you're going to see enable channel optimization, and you're going to see both of these on automatic here. Yeah? What I want you to do is first, disable channel optimization, and set these as manual. reason is, you're wondering 
why does your router disconnect at random? Meaning everyone in your household does can't even connect to it or fix them out of time. The reason is when you enable smart Wi-Fi, it's looking for the least congested channel. So once a channel is identified with a router but it's being congested, it moves to a different channel, causing everyone to disconnect, causing a hassle, making people pissed off, literally causes problems in your household. So that's one important thing, disable channel optimization, just set as manual. You might want to check set the channel width to 20, 40, 80 for the 5 gigahertz band because most devices do support 80 megahertz. Especially the newer devices like the modern modern day PCs, new iPhone models, new Android models. No the consoles that are coming up, they're definitely gonna support that. Even current Xbox generation PS4 consoles are supporting this. Anyway, other than other than that, what you want to do is once you've looked at the Wi-Fi info viewer and found which channel is suitable for you, click which channel from here from the drop down menu. It will give you a warning, for example, like this, say if I pick channel 60, it's gonna give it's gonna tell you this is a DFS channel. We do not want a DFS channel, which I don't even know what the hell that means. So I'm gonna keep our channel 44. Because my internet's sorted, I'm just gonna run a speed test. Okay, so just before I conclude this video, I'm gonna run a speed test for you guys just to show that. What I did is claimed to what it's supposed to do. So with my deal on Virgin Media, I get the M200, 214 megabytes per second download, 20 megabytes per second upload. So as you can see, I'm getting the maximum speeds. It's going up and down, but it's it's staying at the top. Even when there's like 10 plus devices in my household connected, I'm still getting the maximum satisfaction. Even though Virgin Media sometimes fuck around, most of us overall want the best internet speeds possible especially when we're gaming talking with our friends watching netflix and because most of us are in this bloody lockdown we we want to have ourselves a good time and stress free even though we're not allowed to, we can't even go out or we just want to be safe you know you don't we don't want to be catching this coronavirus whether people say it's over or not but if you do if you did enjoy this video feel free to leave a comment like subscribe you know you know the drill by this at this point but if you know anyone who's Virgin Media customer, share this to your friends. Anyone who's Virgin Media, just share it to them. This will 100% guarantee to work for them. I approve it. If you think you've got other solutions you want to suggest to me, leave it in the comment sections. I actually want to see what you guys are thinking. Until then, peace out. That son of a bitch.